Hi, well, we're back on Oculus B Gaming, an old SSD that needs some updating up here. It says here that we should basically do a lot of stuff. Total download size is this one. Now you either do it here, which normally I won't. I'll probably go to the terminal and use our uh, aliases because when you're in phase five in Arch Linux, you won't have this thing. So copy paste your aliases with you and then you'll be fine. And we've done just that kind of uh, a tutorial, how to get um, call keys and bash RC to your Arch Linux XFCE, but that's phase five. If you're ready for it, do it. So uh, update, mm -hmm. fine. Let's go ahead. Again, here we have this issue that I have in Belgium anyway, um, this server of Arch Linux that's not working properly. So we have this command that uh, is going to get all the fastest servers around here. It uses the application reflector and it's going to put it in etc pacman.t mirror list. And hopefully it works now. But that's always a question because he always gets the same thing again and again and again. So just maybe to show in this video as well, there is another video showing you that as well, that in here, there's a mirror list. And this one is the bad one. I don't want that one, but it gets it always. So this one is really has to go, or I put a hashtag in front of it, like in the other videos, but that's the one that needs to go. And then everything just works fine. It's the, the first one that, that really uh, holds me back, right? So what happens when you do an update, you get all the Arch Linux stuff in. So that's one thing, as you can see to here. And all the Arch stuff. So basically the core system is updated. And everything else, if you do this one and then later PKSYUA, then the rest is going to be the AWAR. So I have a 4.19.4. Basically, if you see this word, Linux and a number, then it means you got a kernel in, it means you need to reboot. I am now at kernel 4.19.1, right? Of course, making a video booting is out of the question, but let's wait for all the updates here and see if I need to explain anything. All right, updates have been done. If you want to check again, you do this and then, you know, okay, everything up to date. Last thing, well, no, let's uh, stay, um, let's use procedure in our heads, right? So you never forget, if you see something that has a reference to etc scal, you say, hmm, scal, let's do a scal, right? Everything that's now from Conky just flashes here, everything that comes from etc scal is going off, is in kit etc scal is going to be copied to your home directory. That's why the, hence the flash, let's do it again. Flash, right? So the conky is overwritten and it's reloaded again. That's basically what's happening. And then um, there is this command that maybe you can try out. That's the backup scale. Um, it's going to make a copy, right? Make a copy. So next time you get updates in, you have two folders if you do another copy. And that means that you can compare. I don't know if we've done that in the past. <clears throat> let's have a look. I'm in luck. So there was a copy from the 10th of 18, October 18. Since then, I've probably not touched this SSD. I don't know. Anyway, this is ideal to make a melt. This behind this little uh, line here, compare, it says melt. And it's an application. And that's awesome application. The only thing you need to do is press this button here because you're not inter this interested in what's the same. You want to know what's different. So all these things are new. To the right is December 9th. So right is more recent than left. So we added this element, that element, stay rolling folder, arch, arco, guns, three nice scripts, things in UCA, and then you can go inside and take a look. Oh, we renamed Conky Zen, it seems, at that point in time. So Conk Zen, yeah, the, we forgot the Y. So all these, these things you can know and, and, and control what happens on your 
home folder in the ZTC scale is going to copy paste a lot of stuff to your home folder, but you can see it and follow it and then you feel okay, they've done this, they've done that and that's you can add some lines here which are not going to be started because there's a hashtag in front, but it's easy of course, deleting a hashtag is easier than typing a whole word. So that's why it's in there and all kinds of things. So use that for uh, to, to get um, control and grasp how everything works. It's, it's all Lego blocks, like I always say, and these are very small Lego blocks, right? Uh, custom keyboard, custom shortcuts and stuff like that. They're all in there. All right, done that, explained that. Last thing, PKSY Wake. Let's then do this thing because that's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I can't put it in the corner. I was used to XFC, can't do that. Yes, you can. You have to go and look at your keyboards. You press super and you keep pressing it and then you go to your separate keyboard, a uh, numeric keypad. Seven is this, eight, nine, six, five, four, one, two, three. And I want it here, so that's nine. What I wanted to do as well in the meantime, while that thing is working, is check out my bash RC. As always, this one, that one, are they the same? We've done a copy paste, yeah. And with the scale, that's actually basically basically a copy paste, but we've done a lot of work in the bash RC department. So this one is new, that one is new. Those mirror things, my problem, solved by now. I have different kinds of mirrors now, four of them, and this one can go. So basically I have now exactly the same thing here. That's one thing. And what also is interesting, uh, let's let's do this first. If you do another scale, you get the old Bajor C back. So this one is the new one, the latest one. We've just copy pasted it over. Control C. And if you do another scale, you get this one from ages ago. I don't know if I can show you that. Yeah. So October 18th. So what's in here is never going to be the last one. So I'm going to overwrite that one as well. So when I do a scale, I get at least the one that I've created well in December. So this is now not yet working. Depends. Um, we need to source bash RC. And now everything is working. I can start looking at my different kind of mirrors. There are four mirrors I can use, so if there is a problem with slow uh, Arch Linux servers, I use these four guys. One of them, right? Until it works, this update. That's done. Last thing, let's conclude that as well. Control C, Control V. I'm going to make my uh, personal. You need to make that yourself. We can't supply you that. Since we're always copy pasting everything over, all your personal bash RC aliases they might have are gone. So personal stuff. And you put your alias in there here. So update is often typed up paid when I type it. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna cover all the typos in here. So at paid, actually I meant update, right? So that's an also a neat little trick. As of now, we can have these personal stuff in there and up date will work, but up date, is that gonna work? Yeah, it's just gonna work. So there you go. That's another neat little thing. thing. And I think we are now up to date, P-K-S-Y-U-A. There are lots of things uh, still to be explained, but basically, basically we could say we are up to date if you want to really do everything like 100 percent then there is still this bin thing and we have stay rolling 18.11 if you want to get rid of samba you can do so if you get rid of tlp that's for laptops you can do so and maybe we should well encourage you to do this one since this makes you even more rolling in the sense that and there are files on your system your old system if you want to stay rolling clean install will always be good so if you want to stay rolling if you run this thing 
it deletes files and it replaces it with the same files from another package. So we've created a package to, um, to administer, to be able to administer these files. So if there is an issue, we can change them. Well, I'm going to run these guys as well, since I am not on a laptop at all. You're out. That's that. And having Samba around on a gaming computer is not necessary. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. So that's it. I'm keeping the one application there for MPV, so music player inside the terminal. But basically, uh, we've done everything we could do. I don't know if I ever did use all cores, make package configuration. I should have done. If I haven't done, I should have done. It means it's going to use... Okay, it's getting... Oh yeah, right, right, right. Good, good, good. Okay, when we copy paste everything to here, if there is, there is already an old version in here, you can delete it. So two files and there is an improvement as simple as that. And it's because of Xeon. There he is again. I told it's another video as well. He has 16 cores. So that's why we made a new version. Delete. And that's it. And now we have uh, no doubles anymore. No doubles, no doubles, no doubles. I don't think so. Okay. No doubles anywhere. Fine. So that's okay. So now when we type 00, zero and tap, we get the right one and we don't need to specifically say this or that one. It's just an old version. So now I'm pretty sure all eight cores will be used. You can read all about it in uh, arclinux.com. That's it. I guess I'm up to date, guys. So let's go and uh, check out the icons in another video.